Okay, it looks like, did anyone just witness that? Cause like I'm the happiest person in the world right now. <laughs> I feel so I feel so savvy and professional on oh, my lands okay I want to follow everyone um, on the YouTubes so hold on okay and I'll have to figure out how to turn myself down okay <laughs> okay well that was super cool awesome on oh, my lands all this time <gasps> Yay! look at all you beautiful people oh my gosh okay so I'm super excited we're streaming to the Juliana um, C. Avalar page on Facebook. We're streaming to the big. Oh, I hear myself. Okay, it looks like. I got to get rid of this. Did that's, anyone just witness that? Cause... That's not going to work. Okay. Um, and we're streaming to the big Jewel Loom group. And we're streaming to the YouTubes which I was hoping to watch, but I don't know how to get rid of my second voice. <laughs> Yay, I love that you're watching from the YouTubes. So incredibly cool. Oh my goodness, I just love seeing everybody's name. And I wish I could uh, reach out and just hug each and every one of you. I know it's been a while. Um, last couple of months have been a little crazy. But listen, I wanna get down to business because I'm super duper excited. And um, Joan, if you can give me, oh, Catherine, God bless you. I'm so glad you're here all the way from Australia. Awesome. Um, Joan, if you can let me know that my voice is good, that there's no weird echo. Can you, I did turn off my volume. I turned off my, I turned it off. I'm not on my YouTubes. Do I sound better? Let me know, and then I'm going to switch cameras because now I know how to do that. I just feel like a big girl. Hey, Nicole. So Joan says, yes. Okay, awesome. So without further ado, because this is like the coolest thing, <gasps> Ooh, except for my camera just went in a different direction. Not the coolest thing. Okay, hold on. I thought I was super cool, but I still am not. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I meant, can you turn off your volume so you can, I did turn off my volume and it still was coming through. That's how powerful my voice is. I don't know. I'll figure it out. At least I figured this part out. Okay. Without further ado. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So we got this fancy new thing now where I can, is that cool or what? Oh my gosh. I'm, I just can't believe it took me all this time to figure that little maneuver out. Um, disclaimer. Marlon Brando's in the house and he's snoring. So it is what it is. This dog is so attached. <laughs> so <laughs> the YouTubes are good. Thanks, Amber. All right, everyone. I am so, so excited. Oh, except for look, we got to turn ourselves around. So this is the new small wisdom warrior. And you may remember that. I brought out the, she can't even fit in here. She's so big. This is the large size Wisdom Warrior Loom, 25 inches long on the top. And if you go all the way around to the back, you can do up to probably 50 inches. So we were super stoked about that new loom. We've been making hat bands and um, chokers and Amber, I think it was, and Kelly both did their rings on the large wisdom warrior. So that one just was like, holy cow, wow. And then I was like, okay, well, let's just keep being crazy and <laughs> let's do a small version of the wisdom warrior. And so all the creative soul box subscribers um, have been receiving their small wisdom warriors. They got a chance to get it first. Um, I love all my peeps, but uh, the Creative Soul Box people got it, and everyone is raving. So let's just go over some of the details really quick. We've got <laughs> so much fun trying to compete with Marlon Brando snoring. It kills me. Okay, we have just about a three-inch wide area. 
that we can um, warp with. And we have 12 inches long, okay? So let me come back this way. So 12 inches long, all right? Now with this particular loom, um, you can only bead on the top. I wanted to keep it that way because not for nothing, if you want to make longer pieces, then you know you need to have the large Wisdom Warrior. <laughs> and so, yeah, she really is. She's just so fabulous. The warp on both the small and the large um, Wisdom Warriors, it, it's just, it's so great, so great. I'm so happy. This is a, a sustainable, that's a big word to say late in the day, uh, Baltic Birch Wood. All right, and this is another one of the products uh, that's made in the Missouri facility. And um, I don't, it seems like if I move a little, it's getting a little blurry. So just let me know. Oh my gosh, and South Africa. Okay, Australia and South Africa are in the house. Okay, if Canada shows up, that I don't even know. I'm going to lose my Cheerios. <laughs> You ladies, all of you, and we've got all of, I, I don't, it's just so fun to see our friends from the other countries, and the reason why I make such a big deal out of it is because of the time zone, because it has to be late, right? So I get really excited that our, um, um, our friends, our peeps that are in the Creative Soul box that are in other countries are, are chiming in because it's just so sweet. It's so sweet. Yay. Okay. I love you guys. And of course I love all of my peeps right here in the States. Okay. The wisdom warrior goddess is taking a world tour. <laughs> yes. The wisdom warrior and Kelly says that she's 30 miles from Canada and that counts. <laughs> that counts. Okay, everyone. So, um, whoop. all right. And you know, I guess since you're kind of seeing this, I'll just, for those of you that don't know, this is our new beadboard. So this is the um, shield and it's a beadboard and all of the Creative Soul Box members are getting the um, shield in their box this month for December. In addition to like, I am just like shopping like a mad woman. I can't even control it, um, but that's okay. It's all for you and I love it. It's like you're all my children this. For December, you're all my children. <laughs> And I'm, I'm just having fun shopping for you and creating for you. All right. Okay. So, oh, hey, let me turn it over. Did you see that this one also has the shield? That's the Esther um, 414 scripture. I just love that. And I just feel for me personally, um, and I know for others too, it's just such a, a perfect, perfect scripture for the times. But um, yeah, so, so, so good. We've got the buttons that, you know, we'll attach our beading thread to or our cord. Um, they're on each side of the loom. And our beautiful little family in Missouri, they're once again responsible for all of this awesomeness. And we build them as they're ordered. And each one of them is blessed on the way out the door. So I feel so lucky to have... Um, have Robert and Karen uh, as a part of this journey. So, ah, that's sweet, Joan. It's just a sweet, yeah, it's a sweet, a sweet one. Oh goodness, I'm pushing my beads everywhere. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get a couple things out of the way so that I can actually warp. Hey, Carmen. So I am working from a spool of hemp. This is hemp cord, and this happens to be, this is the 5.5. Okay, the, um, let me bring this up. You see the grooves? Oh, that's a great shot. So the grooves will accommodate your beading threads. Um, it's taking the 0.5 millimeter hemp cord really, really, really well. And I think it was Amber who showed us in a shot in the group um, where she just laid a heavier leather cord and let it lay on top of the grooves. And I have done that myself um, with Sari Ribbon. So, you know, if you want your uh, beading cord to actually sit into the grooves, you're gonna go with a 0.5. So, okay, let me, once again, I'm just gonna back up here a little bit. And I like to create a little, a little loop in the air for my knot, okay? And then I'm gonna add that to the button. 
and I'm just going to give it two nice ties here. All right. And so, you know, if you know that you're just going to be working with a, not the entire three inches, you know, if you're just going to be um, working with what is that, like say an inch and a half, two inches, then center your warps. You don't need to stress out about coming all the way over to the side. It's not, it's not a, um, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry about that. You can, because it's kind of easy to just center the warps in the middle. All right. So you see how I did that? And the, the uh, cord is laying in the groove. And then I'm going to pull that towards me. But, but wait, there's more. Okay, so <laughs> for those of you that are new, you're probably like, well, what is she, how does she know what she's doing? Okay, well, this is how. How do you know how many grooves to skip, right? So I'm going to be working with the 12 millimeter pyramid bead. And I'm going to have to skip seven. Let me get that in focus. This camera should be like amazing when it comes to focus, and sometimes it's not. I'll have to see if I'm missing. Maybe it's because of the distance. Let's see if that looks better. So I'm going to be skipping seven grooves, and I'm working with three pyramid beads, three 12 millimeter pyramid beads. So I'll skip seven grooves and I'll be making four warps. Okay, that all sounds probably foreign to some of you, but to most of you, you understand, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So the cord is in that first groove here that I laid it down into. And now I'm gonna keep, with warping, you really, you always wanna hold tight to the cord or to the beading thread. And I'm gonna wrap that around the back warp and you know what I know one thing I forgot we need a little more light there we go <laughs> it's like uh hello yeah and I think the lighting Holly <laughs> I was like sitting here in the dark wondering why I can't see I'm such a goober sometimes okay hold on so I'm gonna count seven really quick one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, after a while, you get really good and you can kind of eyeball and you know where the seventh groove is. And then I'm gonna do the same thing up here at the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Wrap it around the button. Get that tail out of the way. And that kind of looks right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. It was off one. Okay. Seven. And then I'm gonna bring that back down. So this is my um this is my third warp. And again, because I'm gonna be using four beads, I want to have sorry, three beads, I want to have four warps. Okay, so I just have to give a major shout out to, I don't know if you're still watching, but you know, I adore you and love you and Scarlett. So my dear friend, Tony Lanny is watching right now. And, and he says that I'm amazing. <laughs> you're amazing too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the loom so that I can see what I'm doing. Hi, Yolanda. Okay, and then I just wrap it around that. Um, there we go. See, this is why I love production because usually there's like six other people. <laughs> but in these times, there's me and the dog. And that's fine. We do, we do the best we can, right? And we just go slow. We don't need to be in a rush. So I wrap that around the back button and I'm going to cut that off. And then the goal here basically is that you just need to tie the tail to these other warps without losing, um, you know, the tightness of the warps because you don't want to lose that beautiful tight
there we go. And you want to give it a nice tight pull and then sometimes I'll even take that first tail and tie that together. Okay, so I know what I need. I need a camera behind me. I need a camera on the side of me. I need a camera <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Did everybody get that though? I think that worked out really well. Somebody give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome sauce. Okay, so here is your warped. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? And that's what we want. We want a really nice, taut, tight warps. Brittany, can you please show how to tie it off again? Then I, I can't untie. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Brittany. So basically, um, basically this was my first tail, right? So let me see if I can do this upside down. I came under here. I took that tail and then I just wanted to make sure that it was going to be nice and tight. So I I wrapped it around that little loop there and then just pull. And then I also took the original tail and I tied it again. Does that help, Britt? There, it's exactly how we were tying off the large God or large Wisdom Warrior or you know the original jewel loom pieces. But let me know if that helped. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So now what I'm going to do, we're going to put that to the side. And I don't know why. Isn't that funny? I, I, I'm feeling like she needs to look at me, but she can, it's okay. She can look at you, right? Isn't that funny? I'm having a hard time like working on her upside down, but I'll do it. <laughs> now, I already cut some of the wildfire. I, you know, as you know, let me pull that in really quick. So for me, um, I truly enjoy using the Beetle on wildfire. And it's the point .6. I've been using it forever. Before this, I used fishing line. I mean, totally, like for reals. Um... But yeah, but there are other beading threads that I know everyone enjoys using. I just haven't really used a lot of others because this one has always worked for me. And of course, you know, Beadalon and I have um, a relationship with my original Jewel Loom. And so, yeah, I love, and I love this blue. It's absolutely to die for. Super gorgeous. And I only have a hole in it because I have it in one of those systems where it's usually hanging somewhere. Usually this is really pretty. But that's the beading thread that I'm choosing um, to work with. Now listen, I've been doing this for a really long time, so I feel comfortable working with a very long piece of beading thread. You could certainly start off shorter. Um, this is about two and a half yards. Um, if you want to use a longer piece, just go slow. You know, don't be in a hurry to, um, you know, to be too quickly and get caught up on something. So I just made a little knot there on the side of, of my warp. And let me just, let me just kind of get where, where I'm at, where my body is. The Wisdom Warrior is in front of me. And this is my body, okay? This hand right here, this is my belly. <laughs> this is my body. And this is my left hand, and this is my right hand, okay? And she's facing you, which hopefully, um, I'm sure you like looking at her right side instead of upside down. And we'll just go with that. So I'm going to bring all of this thread over to the left side. And hopefully I didn't cut off too much. Man, that's a long piece. Okay, I might have been a little overzealous, but that's all right. And I'm going to bring in the pyramid beads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the needle and thread that's in my left hand... I'm coming under the warps and I'm going to transfer the needle and thread to my right hand. Okay. Now the pyramid beads, the points, we want them facing up towards the ceiling. So the holes in the beads, and let me see if I can't bring that up to the camera. Do you see those holes? There's two holes in these pyramids.
And those holes, they're on each side, they're facing me. And I'm gonna put my needle in the top hole on all three of them, okay? Because this is how you make sure that the pyramids will be facing up towards the ceiling and not towards the loom. And because I have so much thread, I'm gonna be nice and slow and I'm going to let them fall, okay? And then I'm going to support them with my left hand and I'm going to pop them up in between the warps. And you see how they're resting on my pointer, my pointer finger? And now I'm gonna take the needle and thread and I'm going back through the top hole and I'm on top of the warps. You can see the needle, the silver part of the needle, gliding on top of the warps. And now I'm gonna pull that all the way through. And again, I've got a lot of thread here, so I'm just gonna help to guide it. Easy peasy, all right. And then, can you see that little left, that little piece right here? This is where we just wanna make sure that it snugs up to the warp nice and tight, all right. And now, here are the back side of the pyramids, right? And they're facing down. So I'm gonna take the needle from the left side and I'm going back through the bottom hole. Let me get that shot. See how they're faced? And the needle is now under the warps. So I'm gonna push that through and I'm gonna pull the needle and it's gonna transfer over into my right hand. And again, I'm just gonna help guide all of that thread because I really am working with quite a lot. And I'm gonna pull tight. I'm gonna pop them up in between the warps again. And now I'm taking the needle and I'm going back through that bottom hole on top of the warp, I can see the needle gliding over the purple hemp cord. And there's my first row. Just like that. Easy peasy pumpkin squeezy. Got it? Alright, let's do it again. Okay, I'm going to come under the warps. I'm going to bring the pyramids in. <laughs> and top hole. Top hole, top hole. Let's see if I can't see that. So the needle went in on the top hole so that the pyramids will be facing up. And again, I'm gonna let those drop. Let it fall all the way down. And I'm just guiding them. Pop them up in between the warps needle and thread it's in my right hand. I'm going back through the top hole, over the warps. And again, I'm just gonna help to guide all of this thread so I don't get a knot. All right, give it a little tug there. And let's see if I go this way, maybe that'll help. And then I'm going to take the needle from the left side, oh, hello. And I'm going through the bottom hole. I'll do a little wiggle wiggle, make sure the needle is in there. Pull it all the way out. Okay, pop those guys up in between the warps. And now I'm gonna take the needle and go from the right side there, going back through the bottom hole again on top of the war, oop, hey, hey, <laughs> and all the way out. Yeah, when you have this much thread, you got to be careful there. Okay, and we're going to pull it nice and tight. Awesome. Okay, now here comes the fun. Here comes some fun, fun, fun. You can mix up the size 
and type of bead that you are working with. So for instance, a 12 millimeter pyramid bead is equal to two six millimeter fire polish beads. All right, so I'm gonna pick up six fire polish beads and I'm gonna let those fall and this is so stinking cool. All right, so we've got six fire polish faceted beads and now we're gonna pop those up into the warps and look at how cool that is. So now we can mix it up. All right, I want, every, I want to make sure everyone's in there nice and they all look good and they do. And I'm coming back through that hole and I'm, my needle's gliding on top of the warps. And look at that. Isn't that so much fun? Is your mind going crazy right now? <laughs> all the opportunities. And then I just kiss those up to the pyramids. Make sure once again that everything is nice and even. And now I'm going to go back into the pyramid bead. Again, picking them up from those top holes. Let them fall. Pop them up into the little warps there. Ooh, where'd you go? Transfer the needle to my left hand. Ooh, I want to be careful never to distort that warp, so kind of have to just watch what you're doing. Now I'm coming back through that bottom hole. It's really repetition, right? Left to right. Pop them up. So these um, six millimeter faceted beads are, um, they're a hair bigger than say around six millimeters. So you do have like a little, a little bump right there because they're just a little bit because um, a faceted bead is, well, it's facet. It's got facets. <laughs> so it's not, not a smooth, round surface. It's faceted. It's cut. And um, so it's got just a, a little excess there. So my pattern is two rows of pyramids. and then a row of the six millimeter. I know Debbie, this is like so relaxing and meditative and it's that soulful dance I've always talked about in weaving. through the back hole or the bottom hole actually oh, where are you at oh I'm glad you caught it Lori hey listen if you're not on this on the uh, texting app you really need to join it's free I mean you do need to have a texting um, plan on your phone, but most people have unlimited texts. Um, I don't, I don't share your information. I don't spam you to death. You can ask anybody here. I'm going to give you the number right now, and you just text this number. You join the community, and you will know. Look it. There's the number. Isn't that so stinking cool? Um, and it says bead kit, but that was, I forgot to change that. Just say join community. I mean, I'll know you're new, so I'll, you'll be, you'll be in it once you join it. But really I, um, this is how I communicate with everybody with the texting. 
And if anyone wants to chime in about that program, um, how it has worked for you, because I know there are many times that I, um, you know, somebody has a question, whether it's a customer service question, whether it is a, um, whether it is a technique question, especially with the Creative Soul Box community, anytime there are questions about those projects. You know, Jan, we haven't done um, we haven't we haven't done a wrap around the large warrior, but it's um, but she has teeth, she has the grooves, so you just continue um, very similar. If you recall the um, the Wachikali, the the Wachikali, the weaving goddess loom, um, where you can you can weave from the top to the back. We've positioned things a little bit differently on the Wisdom Warrior to make it a little easier, but um, but she has she has grooves. The large one has grooves on both sides. It's only the small one that doesn't. Yeah, I wrapped. Well, see, you don't really need to use the back of. I'm going to have to dream up that project. It's going to have to be, <laughs> it's going to, um, because, you know, 25 inches on the top, I don't know, does anybody need more than that for a three wrap? Like, are we going to go big or go home and do like some crazy, like five wrap bracelet on the large um, Wisdom Warrior? Because I feel like that's what's going to happen, Holly. Woo! I think that's what's going to have to happen. <laughs> We're going to make some uh, Wonder Woman uh, wrap bracelets. That would actually be super hot. Oh my gosh. Okay, now you got my mind going. Okay, and Brittany says, I love the texting community. It is user-friendly and such a great experience to speak with Jewel directly for any question. Woo! Ooh, everyone's going fast <laughs> or concerns you might have with the project yeah yeah thanks Brittany it's true um, I'm down five rep okay awesome 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 and for those of you that are wondering what we're talking about so a lot of the creative soul box members are live right now with me um, and so we have a monthly subscription that um, I design a project for and it started off kind of just as projects but then I got crazy and um, started designing more looms and so the Creative Soul Box community has been um, spoiled <laughs> with the release, the first release, the launches of all of these new looms. So they're the first to get the small Wisdom Warrior. They were the first to get the large Wisdom Warrior. And um, and so it's been fun. We did a hat band. We've done a choker. And uh, we most recently did five different rings. And now everyone's just receiving their small loom. And so we're actually making, as a bonus to... Um, getting the uh, small warrior loom in their kit that they paid for they got these beads if you per if you're not in the group and you purchase this loom there's a sample seed bead pack that comes with it um, but the subscribers got these beautiful blue beads so you can ask anyone in here about who's a member about that group because that's really fun it's uh, $45 a month plus shipping and handling. And you get a lot. I'm just going to say it. I'm not going to be shy about it. You get a lot. <laughs> and so, and it's good stuff. It's good stuff. We learn, we've been making some super cool projects and, um, and we've bonded and there are some people who actually do beading for a business. So we've talked about business and, and so it's been really fun, really super fun. Okay, so anybody getting, I'm just going to keep going. I mean, are you cool with that? I don't know how long we've been on, 35 minutes. Okay, 
you know what? I'm just going to, if you're okay with it, I'm just going to keep, I'll just keep beating. The reminder help today. Yes, yes. So um, the cool thing about the texting community is that when you join, whenever I'm going live, I'll tell you. I'll tell you where I'm going live, and then I'll give you a reminder. Um, all of these are recorded. So, you know, if the time doesn't work out for you, I'm in California. I realize a lot of people, well, come on. We had uh, South Africa join tonight and Australia. So we have, you know, it, it usually works for a lot of people. And then, you know, if it doesn't, then you can watch the recording. But the texting really helps to remind everybody when, when to jump on or, you know, and that there'll be a recording of something coming up. My mom got a text the other day. <laughs> she goes, and it was from me. And because I added her to the community because I kind of wanted to like see, well, how, what does it look like when you join? And what does, you know, what does it look like when you get a text from me? So I signed her up, right? So she, she says to me the other day, I need you to look at something. I got this text. And... I was like, oh my gosh, what did she get now? Because she's, you know, we're all constantly getting, you know, spammed or, you know, just some crazy phone calls because, you know, somebody's coming to get us because we didn't pay some bill, right? All that crazy, um, non-truth, truthful phone calls that come at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I go over to her phone and she starts reading it to me. And it says, <laughs> reminder, you are not responsible, um for that for the person who remember the one I did the other day and it was reminder um you don't have to fix the person that's broken or something like that right so it was like a little inspirational thing well she didn't realize it was from me <laughs> she was like what do you think they mean by this <laughs> and I'm like mom that was me <laughs> and it was just me reminding everybody that they don't have to fix all the broken people in their lives. <laughs> but I thought it was precious that that she, um, you know, she was like, what does this mean? It was adorable. Anyway, so that's the kind of thing. Like, you know, every once in a while, I will just have something come to me and I'll share it with the community. And really, I got to tell you, like a lot of people usually respond back like, Jules, I totally needed to hear that today. And, um, you know, or thanks for the reminder, but, um, it's, it's just an awesome way to communicate and to not lose track of each other. I, I really do try to focus on things to keep us together. So my email list, you know, if you're not on the email list, go to jewelloom.com, sign up for that. If you're not on it, it's an instant 15% off of your purchase. Um, Email is, you know, that's really the golden way, email and texting, for us to not lose one another because we all saw what happened the day that the Facebook went down. And um, I, you know, I don't know about you, but I was freaking out like, oh my gosh, I've got all this content on there, all my people. And so I'm always looking for ways to make sure that I don't lose you. And email and texting are definitely the two, the two good ones. So. Make sure you're on my email list. Make sure you're on the texting list. And again, that texting um, number is running on the bottom of the screen right now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, now do you see, you, once you get your rhythm down, I just totally did this bracelet in, what is it? We've been on for 40 minutes and I know I talked <laughs> some of those. But um, yeah, this is, this is awesome. I'm going to talk to you about sizing. We didn't talk about that. But that's okay. We'll have a better visual now. Okay, so one more here. And again, I'm just going to pop those up. <laughs> and just like that oh my heck 
let's see I don't I don't understand this blurriness so strange isn't that great okay let's talk about sizing because I totally blew it on that didn't I we didn't talk about that okay you can't do this without a sewing tape measure I just think it's the best you know best way to measure things um, so when I measure my wrist I have a six inch wrist okay yeah six inches a little bit more man I must be puffy <laughs> Usually I'm right on the I am on the six. Okay, so I I made my bracelet five and a half inches long because that other half an inch is going to come with the clasp. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm actually coming under the warps and going back through the bottom hole. I like to do this to really add some extra security. Okay. I'm just going to peek. I want to make sure that didn't. Okay, cool. So that's good stuff. And then I'm going to go back through. Now, because I have some extra um, beading thread, and these beads are super heavy, I'm going to go back through for giggles. You don't always have to. But these beads are heavy, and so I'm going to do it. Okay. And I'm just weaving back through. I'm getting um, all kinds of community notifications, and I think that means a lot of you are joining the community, and I'm super stoked. That's awesome. Thank you. It's such a great way to communicate. And to help you. All right, so I'm just going to go back through a little bit and one more time. And then what I'm going to do to hide my knot is I'm going to come out. Let's see, let me get a little bit. Let's get closer. I don't know if that helps or not, but see my needle coming out in between the first and second pyramid. I don't know if you can hear that noise. I'm sure he's dying right now. He's going to send me. My mom has the handyman here um, fixing her back door. And I told him I would be on a live. And, um, and he said, that's okay. I don't have to make any noise. But I hear the drill. So something must need to be redone. Which is fine. God bless him. If you can't hear it, it's no big deal. All right. And then I'm just going to go down. And pull that knot. Okay, so now we are we are done except for this little guy. Let's get him. You know, it's so hard when you don't when I don't know. This is going to sound silly, but um, I used to have the nails and everything, and I love 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 having them. But I don't like the um, drill. So I stopped doing acrylics, and I used to get gels, um, which are fine, but I don't necessarily like the process. And not for nothing, I'm constantly working with my hands. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that I don't have the best fingernails. <laughs> Obviously, if I was on air, air, somebody would probably have a kitten and tell me to, to get my nails done, but whatever. I'm a working girl. Okay, so let me, how do I want to do this? Um, okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to cut from the back here closest to me. These are glass beads. I don't want them, um, you know, slapping the wood. I don't want to damage that at all. So I'm going to hold this while I cut. I just have my hand underneath the, the bracelet. And I'm just nipping. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. <gasps> so beautiful. Oh my heck. Okay. Let me go this way. Okay. I need a link to like a great pair of cutters because this is just like ridiculous.
Okay. <gasps> there she is. She's free. <laughs> so beautiful. So stinking beautiful. And so, oh my gosh, look at she's just made so well. So, so well. All right. I'm going to put her to the side. There you go, mama. And I'm going to bring this in. Okay. Now here's, oh yeah, I've got to get rid of this guy. I, Debbie and I've had this conversation. I seriously have a problem with living so close to the water. I've got to get that bucket of sand and motor oil. Correct, Debbie Rogers? I believe that's what you told me to do. Um, okay, now, there's a lot of different buttons that you can use. Um, we have oodles of big buttons. If you were in the Creative Soul Box subscription program for the month of November, your button is the sword from the warrior. So, um, I hope you like it. I've not seen it. <laughs> I don't even have one. I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> can you get me a button? <laughs> So, with that said, I'm going to grab one of the other buttons. So stinking funny. I'm like, how do I not even have a sword button? I mean, really. We are just doing so much, and it's it's just too funny. I wish I could just go live next to them for like a month. And you never know, it might happen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two warp threads and remember your warps are were from the top to the bottom okay so when you go to tie don't pull on these so tightly or you know grab them because you could shift everything and that would really be a bummer I'm gonna get rid of um, well, I'll just let it keep going. I'm going to let that keep going. Okay, so I'm going to take these two warps and pinch them together. There we go. Awesome. And I apologize if I have said awesome too many times, but oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> if that's the worst thing I do. And what I like to do, um, I like to really help that knot get as close to the bead as possible. And so I'll just help guide it down and sometimes I'll pull and then I'll squeeze down here just to, just to keep everything nice and, and formed, formed well. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Everybody hanging in there? Okay, and now we're going to turn it around and do the same thing on the other end. <laughs> Beautiful. Whoopsie. Hi, Deborah. Is he coming through the sound? Can we hear Marlon Brando? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I have to make a decision on is this going to be my loop or is this going to be my loop? I think I will have better luck using this end for my button. Now, I'm not going to tie it um, super tight because when my sword gets here, I'm all, I'm all into that. So I'm going to just, um, you can kind of, and these holes are too big. This is not going to work. So you want to have a button that doesn't have such big holes. And then all you're going to do is string that on 
and then you'll tie it a couple times. I'm only going to do it once because, like I said, I want to use my sword when it when it shows up. But then I would tie it again. And listen, if this is ever too short for you, what you can do is take some um, some artistic wire, 24 gauge, and then just wrap it around the hemp cord or the leather cord, whatever you might be using. Okay. And then on the opposite end, you're going to, um, I'll show you right here on this one. There you go. We're going to be making that little little loop area so I'm just gonna bring all these guys in so you can see how come I chose this in because the warps are longer and I gotta keep this area the size a good enough you know big enough size for the button I'll be using and because the sword's not here again I'm not gonna go too too tight I think actually that's probably going to work because the sword, if I'm not mistaken, is this size. So awesome. Perfect. Look at, oh my gosh, how incredibly delicious is this? Is it fabulous? <laughs> it's total rock star. Total fun. Total Vegas. If anyone's heading out, oh my gosh, I hope to get to Tucson in, uh, in February for the Tucson show. More beads, more beads. Okay, I'll ignore your text, Deborah. <laughs> we got a couple Debras on. Is Brando snoring? Brando is snoring. Can you hear him? Okay, so I'm going to try to, let me transition back to the next camera. Let's see how this works. Hold on one second. Oh, whoopsie. It worked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay. So fun. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was under, okay, we're at 52 minutes and 39 seconds. And I literally just made a bracelet. So it's the rhythm. Take your time. You know, just help guide all of that thread. Because again, I was working with like two and a half yards. Um, if you're going to be ambitious and do that, awesome. Just go slow like I was. And yeah, so I can't wait to get, um, to get that new button. And I love painting my wood buttons and then using the, um, oh heck, why am I losing my, the word? The shiny stuff. Really? I've lost my words. Okay. I'm working on two of my rings on the small. Oh, fun. On the same warp. Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of room. So what Nicole is saying is, you know, you've got three inches, right? So we're making, we made five different rings in the October, um, subscription. Mod Podge. Thanks, Holly. God, Brittany. <laughs> I don't know where my brain is anymore. So you could do, you could warp like two different sections if you wanted. Um, I can't remember if Amber warped the large Wisdom Warrior twice or three times. And Kelly, you did it too, right? Um, you put all your rings on, on one. So let me see. Let me see if I've missed anything here. Oh, thanks, Hermie. Yeah, that hemp, the hemp is awesome. I need to get more. Thank you, Yolanda. Rosa, Linda. Love you, love you. Brenda. Yes, those pyramids are to die for. Yep. I just checked on the pyramids that are coming in from the Czech Republic, by the way. So we're waiting for their answer. One of the cool things about being in the subscription is that I, um, when I have an opportunity to to buy beads many of the times to have them made over in the check and then flown in I extend that offering at a great price to the to the subscribers and so it's 
I think it's fair to call it private shopping. So a lot of times these items don't even hit the shop because they're offered to the subscribers and then um, they take advantage of that. So, so just sharing some, some of the deliciousness of the subscriber, of course, you know, if it's something you're interested in, you can text me and I will tell you all about it. Um, I don't know if I understand that about the cutter. Oh, good. You love the sword button. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I've only seen pictures. I don't even know if I've seen a picture. I think I've seen a drawing. And I'm like, okay, I trust that it's beautiful. Take the scissors to Ani. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, she's, she's not far. I should do that. Okay, will the tutorials... Um... Not all of them because they're not all, they weren't all mine. Um, but you still have access, Nicole. The two earring months, I believe. You'll have to go to the Facebook, um, those individual Facebook groups. But June is up there. October is up there. And then, yes, I will be adding the Wisdom Warrior hat band and choker. Um, I want to see if I can't save the pearl. What month was that? May? Yeah, I've been looking at everything to try to figure out how to go back without going forward and, and filling everything in. So, um, but yes, the ultimate goal would be to have my designs in the Kajabi school for you. But you'll always have access to all the content in the Facebook groups, whether they're archived or not. You always have that access. So, yes, yeah, Zeron's my favorite too, but um, the problem is that it doesn't even matter what brand. They're all thrashed because, of the, because I live so close to the uh, ocean. And I'm not obviously storing them properly. So I, I need to have them sharpened. And then I need to, um, I need to take better care of them. I just don't know. Well, Debbie gave me a good idea. Okay. And let's see. So, oh, Jules, can you text us the code for the store discount? It stays the same, but it's not working. So I will. I'm just going to go make a brand new one. I'm going to go make a brand new one. Kelly, Kelly discovered that, which Kelly, I have to. I have to um, take care of that. Where where did you get the blue pyramids? They're they're from me, from the jewel loom shop. Except for in this moment, I think we're sold out. So if you want some, text me, so that I know they're they're sold thirty pieces, and the retail on that I believe is twelve dollars and fifty cents for thirty pieces. Okay, you can't probably hear it, but the older gentleman, so my mom lives in 55, an older community, and um, this guy, I don't know, did he say he's from Germany or something? He's been here forever, but he's out back singing right now. It's adorable. <laughs> I'm like, where is that coming from? <laughs> oh, God bless him. That's so cute. Um, okay, Australia, and that's hilarious. Okay, I just feel like I lost. Here's the link. Okay. Oh, thanks, Joan. I'm just going back through all these. I saw the word spoiled. Yes. It's so cool. I just, I, I love them. I just love them. All right, let me get down to the last comments here because it's, um, I love the choker beads. Need to find more Ados. I have the Ado connection for sure. Didn't I show you this? Okay, I'm just going to blow your mind really quick and then I'm going to go. Hold on. <laughs> I thought I showed you all these. Uh, 
Okay, because I'm up to something. Look at, look at, look at. Oh my gosh. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? <laughs> okay, this is every color 110 and 80 Toho bead. Yeah. Said I wasn't going to do it. I drank the Kool Aid. Oh well. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's so crazy. So you know that little tube of beads that you all got in your um, with your rings. That's a. Can you use ten millimeter or eight millimeter size beads on the jewel loom? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Just change your change your warps. Yeah. And Brittany, do you ever do you recall having watched um, when I did when we did the silver silk on the fiber loom and the silver silk laid beautifully in the grooves and we had no clue like that was just a oh my gosh like and um, Ados eight millimeters eight mil big guys that's actually what we ended up working with so yeah. Hey, I say if it's not moving, it's fair game. So go for it. 10 millimeter all day. 8 millimeter, absolutely. You're just, you're going to have to, you know, eyeball, um, you know, how many grooves to skip. But those are powerhouse bracelets. I'll have to break mine out. I have, I think, a couple made with 8 millimeters. I know, I love silver silk. I love Neely. It's my baby daddy. <laughs> Is there a chart? Um, what do you mean by that? I don't recall, but I would try. It should be, um, you know what? Joan should be able to find that. Joan, the, the video that I did with Neely, but I think it was, I think it was on Neely's, um, Neely's Facebook. And so, but it would have, I bet you, did it ever get posted in the jewel? We'll find it for you, Britt. Totally. Yeah. That's easy peasy pumpkin squeezy. We'll definitely. Yes. If you all haven't seen that video, it's so good. And um, and we will find the link and we'll post it. Size beads to warp. Um, there's not a written chart, Deborah. No, I've never done that. But, you know, we, we could. Um... You mean like. Here's an 8 -0. Here's how many grooves you skip. How many, right? Is that kind of like what you're thinking? Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, Y'all missed that silver silk one? I can't believe that. Okay. It sounds like we need to revisit that. I will I will find it between Joan and myself. We'll, um, because Joan does a lot with Neely, so we'll, we'll find that. It was so good. And I was tripping out when that silver silk laid into the grooves of the fiber loom. You don't even have to tie it. You don't have to do nothing. It just like lays into the fiber loom. So, but anyway, okay. I love you. It's an hour and three minutes and 56 seconds. So I don't want everyone else watching this video going, oh my God, she talks so much. But listen, I hope you love her. Um, she's on the website. And so if you weren't in the group, um, she is up on the website right now and, um, sign up for the email, sign up for the texting so you can stay in the groove. Both the large and small wisdom warriors are up on the jewelloom.com website. And that looks like, what does that look like? Nope. Julian, J E W. Here we go. Here we go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so, okay. Catherine said her. Oh, well, what she? I don't have the fiber loom, but would love a silver silk. Yeah. Haven't tried to use the silver silk on any of the other looms because it's so thick. Um, and then just ironically, it ended up working with the fiber loom, and so. You know, 
um, I can do something special for that with all you creative soul people. If you want that loom, you know I can work something out. Okay, I love you. I'm going to go. I have to go buy like nylons and I'm freaking out. I haven't bought nylons in like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even, I actually don't even want to go to this thing because I have to go buy nylons. <laughs> but I have to go to this thing. <laughs> well, Kelly, do you think it'll work? Let me know if it works, if you figure it out on the goddess. But I, I had not tried that because it's not, those grooves are not big enough. Yeah, the fiber loom is just perfect for silver silk. Well, let's all play around with it and see what happens. Nylons, I know. Like, who does that? And why am I even doing it? <laughs> all right, peeps. I love you. I can't wait to see all your bracelets. Um, easy peasy pumpkin squeezy. And text me if you have any questions. And I will see you again. <laughs> Bye-bye.